Hello, my friends, and welcome to the True. I'm Robert Wallace, and this is the place where we ask, am I choosing the way of Jesus, or am I choosing my own way? Well, welcome to week three of Grace. Again, this whole series has really been more than salvation, because God offers us so much more, and grace is a component of that. This week, we're going to be looking at God's grace and how God's grace provides our justification through Jesus into a relationship with him. And justification describes the event where we are declared to be in right relationship to God. And we're going to be unfolding that this week, and I have two scriptures to share with you to begin chewing on. Now, let me pause for a moment. Make sure you grab pen and paper so you can take some notes. Jot down questions that come to you. Thoughts that come to you as we go through this week. It's important to note that the word justification doesn't exist in the Bible. Yet, as I defined for you earlier, it is a resulting event, result or the result of an event. And you're going to see that in these two verses that I'm fixing to share with you. Romans chapter 5, verses 1 and 2, all writing to the church at Rome. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. And then in Galatians chapter 2, verses 15 through 16, Paul is writing to the church at Galatia, and he's writing primarily to the Jews, so that frames the context for what we're going to read here. We who are Jews by birth and not sinful Gentiles, remember, all the Jews were, as far as the Jews were concerned, everyone who wasn't a Jew was sinful, period, into the discussion. But let me reread it. We who are Jews by birth and not sinful Gentiles know that a person is not justified by the works of the law, but by faith in Jesus Christ. So we too have put our faith in Christ Jesus, that we may be justified by faith in Christ and not by works of the law. Because by the works of the law, no one will be justified. This, my friends, is the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thanks be unto God. Now, we've been poking around the edges of this word justification for two weeks now. Today, we're going to peel back the onion. We're going to dig into it. And we're also going to discover that while even Paul was writing specifically to the Jews in the church of Galatia, Christ's salvation, God's grace, as we have already discussed, is available for everyone. We're also going to understand when this week is over with that the way of Jesus is justification through faith in him and what he did. And the faith that we have is the grace of God. We have to ask ourselves, which way are we choosing? Are we choosing the way of Jesus or are we choosing our own way? And it begins this week with asking yourself this question over and over again. What am I going to do with what I learned this week? Am I going to read the scriptures and invite the Holy Spirit to give me eyes to see and ears to hear God's truth from his word? Will I have a receptive heart and mind to receive these truths? And then will I take a step of faith with the same boldness, commitment, and courage of Jesus to do what the Holy Spirit is leading me to do? What will I do today with what I learned? I pray you'll have a wonderful day. Go in the peace of God, my friends. Blessing to you. Bye for now.